How's it going, folks? This is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. And this is Hadley, that snazzy iPhone girl. Thanks for watching this video. This is Mac Madness Monday. Today we're going to be showing you Radium, which is the coolest radio app for your Mac. Giveaway winners for Amid cases in carved skin will be selected Thursday. Entries are closed. And that snazzy iPhone guy now does daily vlogs. You heard it right. This is that snazzy iPhone guy, of course, and we're going to consolidate this channel just to tech. But my old channel, some of you may not even know what it is, is youtube.com slash this iPhone guy. I'm going to be putting daily vlogs up. They don't necessarily have to be related to tech. They'll be weird offbeat ones like today. We talked about manslaughter and murder in, in a good positive way. <laughs> but you know, they are kind of variant and a little bit different than what you would expect. So today I'm going to show you Radium. It's a very cool radio app. It's actually a menu bar widget. You can purchase it in the Mac App Store for $4.99. Now there's a lot of radio apps that I've tried. Pandora, SoundCloud, SoundHound. You know, there's an endless list of them and a lot of them just aren't that good. And uh, this is one that takes very little CPU, which is very important to me because when I'm rendering video or when I'm browsing the net or when I'm using Flash, I kind of want the CPU levels to be as minimal as they can because I want as much as I can get out of it. And uh, this is one that does it. There's a lot of features that are really cool and we're going to dive into them. So uh, it's a little menu bar widget like I stated before. It is a standalone application but it does launch it, login. There's nothing that appears in the dock or anything of the sort. It's just a little menu bar widget. So that's all there is. That's First of all, that's nice. It takes less dock real estate and it's ready to go on hand whenever you need it. So for example, Absolute Trance is a radio station that I favorited. You can put a heart next to it and you can unfavorite it if you so choose. And you can search any station. So we could search rock and there will be a list of rock stations. It's really fast. The list is endless. There are endless stations. It chooses stations from not only the net and the web, but it also does it from local radio stations. So there are a ton to choose from and it really is a never ending list. It also has the ability, if you so choose, to use subscription based stuff. So if you use Siri Sirius XM or something like that, it will allow you to subscribe through these medians, which is pretty nice because a lot of these other radio services don't integrate that. Uh, there's a lot of other cool stuff when we discover it, but we'll just show you basic functionality. Uh, so first of all, this is our favorite station, Absolute Trance. It's a Euro station, and uh, this is cool because this is a radio station in Europe that we're getting here in Salt Lake City, Utah, thousands of miles away on our computer. Now, the cool thing is it does use AirPlay. So if you're using, uh, we have the Nelson Express, which is a uh, Apple modem express that we've set up downstairs and it broadcasts to our home audio system in a bunch of different rooms. And uh, I can choose right now to broadcast to that if I so choose. And uh, now we're playing the music downstairs. It actually is playing, so that's cool. Um, but you can go back to your speakers and you're ready to go. Uh, it's pretty cool. It also shows you the track playing. So if any of these radio stations, most of them do, but they'll tell you exactly, okay, this is the song you're listening to and really great, right? Well, cool. So. You also have the ability to share it. You can use it on Twitter, Facebook, Google Buzz. You can copy the track info, the name and the artist, and then you can go into Twitter separately or wherever or in an email. You copy the link, you copy the info, and you paste it into your tweet and say, this is what I'm listening to right now. It's pretty cool. Uh, you can also stop, choose volume levels all from this area. And then there are a few preferences you can choose from. We're going to focus on the equalizer and the history. The equalizer allows you to adjust a bunch of different stuff, and it's a pretty good equalizer. I mean, there's a lot of them out there that are pretty lousy, <coughs> iTunes, um, but this is uh, very well done and you can kind of adjust the way your music sounds. On to the history. Uh, all you have to do is uh, click radium and click command I. And uh, it'll show you the songs you've recently listened to. So this is a song that I listened to probably 10 minutes ago. Uh, I cleared my history before this video. But, um, you know, you can hear this song. It gives you the 90 second preview from iTunes. So you can say, okay, that's the song I was listening to. That's the one I want. And then uh, you can also choose to uh, purchase it. So you click 99 cents and it opens up in iTunes and you're good to go. You can purchase that song for the price that it is. Very cool, very nice. Something that is a really incredibly cool feature if you ask me. You can also navigate if it's not, uh, if it doesn't appear on, we're gonna stop playing this real quick. Uh, if it's not something that shows up in your history or it's not a song that's on iTunes, you can Google it. You press search and it's going to pop up in Google. 
You'll see the video on YouTube. You can probably find download links. A lot of these techno trance tracks appear on other places of the internet. But it's really cool. Radium is $4.99. It's the most versatile, lowest CPU inducive uh, radio app I've found. It integrates some of the paid subscriptions you have, which is really nice. And it's something that I've thoroughly enjoyed. I can recommend it. It's an 8 out of 10. There's a few features that are missing. You can't rate songs. You can't notate them to come back to them later. You can favorite them, which is nice. But uh, it could be done a little bit more efficiently and a little bit more graphic graphically pleasing. But other than that, it is definitely one of the best radio apps I've used and I can highly recommend it. So this is Quinn, that snazzy iPhone guy. Thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe, rate, and comment. And as always, stay, stay snazzy. snazzy. See you later, folks. Have a good one, guys. Boom! Perfect. Sorry, my leg is really uncomfy.